hello everyone welcome to my channel so i'm going to be showing you how to make a crop top and a gather skirt with a slit with this beautiful ankara fabric so we're going to be going on to start the measurement and i left one inch for sewing allowance now i'm going to mark the shoulders so the shoulder measurement is 17 17 divided by 2 is eight and a half i've marked that i'm going to be using four inches for the neck width and then for the neck depth for the front piece i'm going to be using five inches so i'm going to join these points together now Now I'm going to mark nine and a half for the armhole. The reason why I added half an inch is because we're going to be using that for the shoulder slant. So her original armhole measurement is nine, but I added half an inch for the shoulder slant. So as you can see, we're joining these points together now, and I'm going to go down by half an inch for the shoulder slant. I'm going to be extending these lines now. So we're going to be creating the arm hook of. So we're going to find the midpoint and we're going to go in by half an inch. So for the bust, her original measurement is 40. We're going to add some inches for allowance before we divide it by 4. So we got 11.25. We're marking that on the waistline too. Yes, because we want this crop top to be free and straight as you saw in the thumbnail. We don't want it to be fitted to the waistline if you want it to be fitted to the waistline then you have to add a zipper at the back so that you'll be able to put it on but for this crop top there is no zipper it's going to be free for my client to put it on so now i went ahead and added, added allowances all around then i went ahead and cut it out the full length of your crop top is your shoulder to your half length plus one inch so if your half length is 17 your full length is 18 as you can see the front piece is ready so we're going to be using this front piece to cut the back piece so i'm going to fold another piece of fabric and place this front piece on it so that we can cut the back piece If you are watching this video and you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so that when I post new videos, you will be notified. After placing the front piece on the new piece of fabric, I'm going to go ahead and mark out the armhole. The armhole on the back is usually straighter. Then I'm going to go ahead and mark out the neck width. And the neck depth rather for the back piece which i'll be using two inches because i want the neck to be higher than the neckline for the front piece as you can see i've marked that so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out our back piece and our front piece is ready you can see so we're going to go ahead and work on the skirt part now so for the skirt part, for the width of your skirt, you are going to multiply your waist measurement times 2 plus 25 inches. So you can actually adjust it for the fullness of this, for how you want the skirt to be full. But I, that is what I stick to for my own. So for the length, you are going to measure how long you want the skirt to be. It can be to the ankle, it can be to the knee. You can measure it out. As you can see, I've measured mine. I subtracted 2 inches for the band because I'm going to be adding band to mine. So the width of your skirt has to be your waist measurement times 2 plus 25 inches and you can make it fuller than that or you can make it less so that it won't, it won't be too full so this is the band this is the sleeves i went ahead and cut out the sleeves this is the lining piece for the front and back piece then this is the lining piece for the skirt as well i've cut all of them out so we are going to sew it now so now when you are cutting the lining piece for your bodies remember to cut the down part shorter than the main piece so that when you sew it the main piece will be folded in a little bit this gives a very neat finish to your work so now i'm going to go ahead and sew the neckline for the back and the front piece and sew the down part as well 
we're going to do this for the sleeves as well so as you can see we've sewn the sleeves you can see how it went inside the bit the good part went inside the bit we've sewn the front piece as well as a back piece So now you're going to go ahead and place the front piece on the back piece like so ensure that it is even i am going to sandwich the shoulders of the front piece in between the shoulders of the back piece like so as you can see i am going to sew it with half an inch allowance so as you can see i've sewn the shoulders and i went ahead and fixed the sleeves as well so now i'm going to sew the sides of these bodies we're going to sew the sides this is how it looks after we've sewn the sides. You can see how beautiful and clean this looks. You can see how the hemline has a very neat finish. So now I'm going to move on to the skirt part. You're going to go ahead and gather the waistline of the material of the fabric to your original waistline. You're going to do this to the main fabric and I'm going to do this to the lining fabric as well. So as you can see, I've gathered both to the original waist measurement plus one and a half inches on either side for sewing allowance so now you're going to find the mid part you're going to fold it into two and find the mid part and then we are going to fold it again the second time this is to ensure that the left hand side of the front the left side of the front part is facing you while you are going to cut the slit slits are usually on the left side of the front piece so we are going to find the midpoint on this left hand side as you can see we're going to find the midpoint and we're going to mark it we're going to head on and we're going to place the tape on two inches because we subtracted two inches for the band we're going to place it right there and we're going to mark the waist to the knee measurement so you can make this shorter or longer but it's something your client has to be comfortable with because it will expose your legs after marking this you're going to go ahead and cut it out ensure that while you are cutting this you are cutting it in a way that will be neat and straight please ensure that it's not curvy or it does not have any slight bend while you're cutting it out i've gone ahead and done the same thing to my lining piece but the slit on my lining piece is shorter because i subtracted one inch from the lining piece so that when i sew it i can push in the original fabric inside a little bit i'm going to go ahead and sew the lining piece and the main fabric together as you can see i've sewn the down parts together using half an inch allowance so now i'm going to push in the main fabric i'm going to push in the main fabric inside a bit because i subtracted one inch i'm going to push it in by one inch and then i'm going to sew it all around the dart. so as you can see i've sewn it all around i'm going to go ahead and create tiny notches on this point here so that when i turn it inside out and iron it it will be very neat so i'm going to show you how that looks this is how it looks see how neat this slit looks very neat and very clean so this is after i ironed it you can see how it came out so now for the waist part you are going to go ahead and iron soft gum stay on your waistband I am going to add I am going to sew it on the round the waist after sewing the band around the waist you are going to go ahead and sew the center back and fix the zipper this is a finished look of the skirt I've already fixed the band and I've fixed the zipper see how neat and crisp everything looks so this is the skirt I'm going to go ahead and show you how the slit looks wow like this looks so gorgeous so i've ironed the slit out very well it's important you iron this so that it doesn't poker out i placed hemming glue around the slits before i ironed it to give it a neat look this is the top you can see how the top is it 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Please drop your comments if you have any questions. See you in my next video.